Turn around every now and then. <laughs> okay. Where are we now, man? What is that over our shoulder? What is that? Oh my God, that's the... It's the Chicago Bean. It's the Chicago Bean. It's under construction now. Or was it the Dolphin? The one time I bring you, every time I've come here, I think you had something to do with making this thing <laughs> not available to me today. Did you make some phone calls? To him? You got, you got, you got Paul. <laughs> I mean, when we throw down the open mic, man, you never know who we're reaching. I bet you made a phone call and said, hey, me and Jim are coming down. I want to shut it down. I don't want to hang out there all day. Because well, I know Jim loves the bean. See, I actually, I had to do a little, I did a little Elvis for him and a little Mick Jagger because he wasn't just going to turn it off. He wasn't going to just shut it down just for an, 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 any old thing. Well, you rock stars got Paul, you know. Us guys that just tell jokes, we get nothing. We get nothing. We get canceled. You say one bad joke, we're canceled. But at least today, we got to check out the bean. But did you know that Mayor Richard uh, Daly dedicated Millennium Park in July 16, 2004 as a gift to the people of Chicago? I did not. Ain't that cool? You know what? But I also didn't know that you could read. So that's really... This... That's really amazing that... This park you is an enduring tribute to Chicago's you, long history of architectural and artistic excellence. It will stand as long as inspiration to the future generations that carry the legacy forward. You passed the fifth grade. That's all I'm glad to know. <laughs> it would jet with Cousin Jethro. It's turned around. Every Skip now on and the and beam. Yeah. Every now and then it's I like, get a little bit. Who did that song? Um, that's that one chick who sang... Uh, um, 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 it's a heartache. Oh, yeah. Who Nothing but a heartache. <laughs> she was very pretty, but she just, that voice just made her. Carney. Something. No, it wasn't no? Carney. It was, I thought uh, it was some Carney. It was, um, God, I wish I could think of her name. Um, no, Carney did the, uh, she's got Betty Davis eyes. Oh, what's, don't they, they sound alike. Yeah, but uh, every now and then, it's a heartache, <laughs> it's a fool's game. <laughs> but a fool's game, we're right. being silly. No, we're not. This is our everyday, yeah. Well, that's but we're still being silly. Let's not make him pink or flowery. Oh. So, this bean, what's the story of this bean? I don't know. Other than we'll have to find a placard and see if you can accomplish reading that one. <laughs> or if it looks like, or just because it looks like it could be a UFO or something. Uh, if they were to launch this out in the sky, you know, we would think it was a UFO. I know. I saw you, I felt, I got high school friends out there, you know, we definitely saw on a fly, unidentified flying object, we all stuck out sang, of my house. And then they sang, she was too, too hot, baby. I have eyewitnesses, we we're going to call Channel 12 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and then we're like, no, we're going to get busted for sneaking out of the house, and nobody's going to believe us anyway. Yeah. Did but, you, um. Uh, that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have gotten a picture of that one that looked like a white. It was. It, I swear to God. Yeah. It could have been like one of these buildings, like, uh, but it was flat on top. It was a UFO. Yeah, it was flying. Just and I swear they were bigger than the than the buildings that were right there on the ground when I was. Dying. And. The one we saw was a saucer. It was amber in color, like this orange, just amber, not super bright. It yeah. was spinning. Four little spinners came out of it. They've been and getting... they spun. Then they went back into the big one and it took off. Yeah. West Dallas, Wisconsin. That'll be 70, 
We probably were in junior high. Then I took that one picture that yeah. was uh, it was weird. It was like it was flying like this, a straight, but it was going like that. And you had it. Then I took a picture of it, and it was over. It was like here, but it was over here. Were these your acetates? No. You sure? If it was my acid days, that nothing would happen. <laughs> <laughs> then you wouldn't see the ship, right? Right. It was there, and you'd go on just tripping. So. <laughs> This can't be fucking real. Nothing is real and nothing to get hung about. Strawberry things forever. Living is easy. It's like, God, that guy was totally, <laughs> he had, he didn't forget his LSD. No, he used it to his advantage. I don't think he even knew Him the difference. Him and Timothy Leary. I don't think he even knew the difference. I think he just, that's just what came out of his mind and out of his mouth. And uh, I was sipping. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul. He says, I was tripping when I did that. <laughs> hey, someday, man, maybe they'll create a bean in Chicago, man. <laughs> we, we can travel from... Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Liverpool, we'll go see the bean. Chicago. Oh, you're tripping. You're tripping, John. It's Liverpool, fine. You're tripping, John. You're so tripping. 